guys, we are potentially betting at number five here in T20 Cricket. Matt Renshaw and Mitch Marsh are your two openers as welcome to our T20 International debut. It's Australia and the West Indies. It's at the, at the SCG, the Sydney Cricket Ground, and the Windies have won the toss. They've called tails. Australia have won the toss. What will we do? Sorry, West Indies had the call. I think I said they won the toss. They haven't won the toss. Australia have, and they're going to bowl first. Not a bad start. Not a bad choice. I like a chase. Hazelwood and Cummins. Couple of wickets early. Three for 89 after 12 overs. So Nicholas Puran will need to get that run rate going a little bit here. Because at the moment, uh, I mean, he is. He is. He's striking at close to 200. He's doing what you would expect him to do as a quality player. He's had a pretty good uh, track record in the IPL as well, I think, uh, Nicholas Puran. And you got Graves at the other end. Who just gets a nice little edge. And it's going to race away for a single. So a couple of runs conceded already. I want to see, can I create a wicket? Or if I can't, what's my next best strategy? Is it, and where am I defending? That's a poor miss hit. And it's almost gone to mid on. But T20, it's always like the one format you really can struggle in if you're not like... You know, if you're not quite paying attention to exactly what you're doing, whether it's your field placing and your line of delivery, if it's, you know, you're trying to bat too quickly or you're not trying to understand the state of the game at all, that's when you can really become undone by it. So hopefully we don't have those issues today as I try to defend this big boundary on the offside. That's going over the field as head for six. 50 up for Piran off just 27 balls. So he's striking at 200. And the West Indies really improving their scoreline. And after 13 overs, it's three for 99. This, this run rate's still not that good. I mean, their run rate is still not that good. It's only 7.79. So it's not like it's in, in the eights or nines or tens. I mean, there's six more, so that doesn't help me. And whatever I'm trying to do here to keep the offside busy is not working. That's a miss hit, but it'll uh, still be falling safe. I'll just get the one. Down the ground. Again, there's a couple of fielders out there. I'll just get the single as the, the protection made. And already I bowled 1.4 overs. None for 18 from my 10 deliveries. So I've... Uh, being expensive, going in around about 10 runs and over. Tidy up a fraction. Maybe we can snag a late wicket here. Force him to hit to the big boundary. Ah, I think he's hit that, but he's hit it very, very well. There's a man in the deep, but it's over his head. Another six to end the over. They end with 15 coming from it. I would not be bowling me again if I was Pat Cummins. And they don't. So Piran ends 88 from 45. A really good knock, but Graves just didn't do enough there. 42 from 40. That's not what you want from the other guy batting with you in a partnership. They only ended on 172 when, you know, if you've got a partnership that goes for over 100 runs, you really want them to be accelerating. So you would have expected the winners to make a bit more than 172, but... It's a chaseable target. We've got a pretty good lineup. You've got Mitch Marsh. You've got Renshaw at the top of the order. Uh, and then I come in at five if I'm even required, which I will be here. 24 balls. It's about 35 runs, I think, required for victory. So there is a bit of pressure on here. Josh Inglis is striking at 200. That's helpful to us. 34 from 24. That's what we need. That's a bottom edge through to the keeper. I'm rushing through for the single because I'm saying, give me a go here. There's Josh Inglis. He's probably a bit confused why we ran that single. But, I mean, if you look at my track record based on the test matches, based on the start of the one-day career, I have been someone who can play cricket pretty well. That is awful. That is absolutely awful. I, I'm not even going to review this. This is as plumb as it gets. I'm just, I've, I'm so premeditated. I have, yeah, the, the, the less we say about that, the better. And look, Tim David and Josh Inglis, they have done the job here for the Australians. Getting it done here, as you can see. Inglis finding yet another six. 
Australia will win it with about uh, nine balls to spare. <laughs> and outside of my first ball duck, I mean, look, it was not a great start to our T20 career. Let's forget about that game. Look at that. That's ordinary, isn't it? That's very ordinary. Anyway, Piran ends up winning the player of the game for his 88 knot uh, in the first innings. Inglis, of course, 62 from 25. Very good as well. Uh, Australia winning it four for 176, a six wicket win. Let's skip ahead to the next game because it's not getting any, any worse than that. So game two here from the MCG, the West Indies batting first, none for 63 off nine overs. Again, for a partnership that is unbeaten, you probably would be expecting to make a few more runs uh, or at least, you know, be accelerating a little bit quicker than what they have. So Brandon King and Kyle Mayers, they would love to accelerate this. Because if we could just get on top of them and bog a partnership down, we'll be in a great spot. And already I think we are in a good spot because after 10 overs, the rate's only 6.63. That's a good shot. That'll be four. Short boundary here at the G. Oh, no, it's actually six. The straight boundaries are the short ones. That's a lovely shot. So I should actually... Put some protection down there, some defensive protection down the straight boundary, the cow corner region as well. It's the one on that occasion. Hopefully we can finish the over strong. Oh, oh thick edge. Ends the over though, seven from it. Ta, none for 70. Yeah, there's absolutely no protection there. That is just poor field uh, decision making. This is a little bit better of a field choice. And it's gone almost to the man at uh, long on. Doesn't quite reach. Oh my god, I don't know how that's not out. He's hit it into his head. He's gone to ramp it. He's actually connected pretty good, but he's hit it straight into his helmet, which is then bounced over the top of the stumps. Unbelievable scenes. 14 overs. None for 108. There's an edge and out. <laughs> the first wicket falls. It's King who has to go. And there's my first T20 wicket. It's actually hit him on the thigh pad as Inglis. And then it's uh, he's been able to take it in the air. Very nice. Johnson Charles, the next man in. So that is a great start to the over. Obviously getting the three overs this time around. Only the two in the previous game. We probably deserve it because we bowled pretty well. We've got the only wicket. We've gone at seven and over, which is about what the West Indies have been going at. Seven and over. And we haven't conceded too many boundaries. This is just going to be another single. Should have been able to get two there, the Windies. What do you reckon? Oh, he's come down. Little edge. If he didn't edge it, he was out. He's going to be stumped. I think this might be my last ball. I don't think they'll give me a third over. This over has been very good. Oh, sorry, a fourth over. This over has been very good. Three from it and a wicket. My economy under seven. Under six. Less than a run of ball. It's one for 111. And I am going to get over number four. All right, well, we've got the albatross in there, Cam Green. In case of a potential slip catch. The man with the longest arms in cricket. So these are really good figures. One for 18 off 3.4. Edged! Cam Green. Cameron Green. I mean, I'm pumped about it, but it's not really my wicket. It's Cameron Green's wicket. He's done all the hard work, charging through the air to his left. Brian out for 14. Three for 130. Last ball of my innings. It's pulled. There's a man in the deep. Oh, you could have got there. If you really wanted to, Graves will survive. Two from the over and a wicket. Four overs. Two for 18 or two for 19. Unbelievable figures. Not even needed with the bat. Because Marsh, Renshaw and Smith got it done. Mitch Marsh, your player of the match for his 78. Not out. And uh, that is just terrific stuff. Zampa. Two for, hang on, what did he say? Two for 56. Crazy figures from Zampa. I mean, I got two for 19 bowling economically leg spin. Zampa, two for 56, expensive as a spinner. And of course, we just needed the three batsmen to get it done. Alzari Joseph, the only wicket taker. 
What a win. We've secured the series 2-0. And uh, we'll go to the third T20. I think it's in Adelaide. Game number three. The West Indies are batted first after winning the toss again. And once more, they're in not a great position going into this sort of second half of their innings. That is going either straight to the man or straight for six. It's six. And it is Puran trying to get the West Indies any sort of score. They can defend. He gets that nice and fine as well. Beats the inner fielder. Doesn't beat the man in the deep. Just the two. The long boundaries are the one straight. So if I can force him to hit straight, that'd be ideal. Um, but the rate just a 6.91 again. Not going to be enough, you wouldn't think, against this quality Australian batting lineup who uh, have obviously chased down some pretty convincing scores in the past. I think I only went for about 18 runs in the entire four overs I bowled last match. I've already gone for 17 in just the one over that I bowled here today. It's 5 for 108. In the air. Cries of catch. It's a long, long boundary down there. And he's taken it and stayed inside the boundary. I was definitely concerned. I thought this was, this was absolutely going to be cooked. But he was trying to hit it against the spin. Didn't quite get enough on it. And yeah, just stays inside the rope there, Mitchell Marsh. Six for 1-1-3. One, one, Got to be outside off if I'm going to force him to hit down the ground like that. Single ends the over. Six for 1-2-1. One, one. Three overs to come. I got a wicket in that one. And my figures will be one for, one for 25 or something. Oh, you've given me another one. Have you really? So five singles. My third and what will be final over. That's miss hit. They will think about two. They will just get one. So six from the over. Seven for 136. With one over to come. And in good exciting news, I'm going to get a chance to bat. Yet to make a run in T20 cricket. Yet to face more than one delivery. We're not going to premeditate. We're going to play it on its merits. I'm lucky I did because that ball was dead straight again. So... We were not going to expose our front pad this time. Three for 66. Oh, I wouldn't mind a short ball. There's a few pullable options. Even if it's not that short, I'll make it work for six. He said it's gone over the shoulder. Did it? I don't think it did. No, mate, that's come off the hip. And you're giving him one of these. Check your facts, umpire. 120 meter six, though. That's huge. And a good start to the over. It's down the ground, won't be four. Look for two. Josh Inglis quick. Makes it nice and easy. Australia weren't necessarily in a bit of trouble, but three down. It's, I mean, what do we need? It's like seven and over needed. Not too much. That's a tight single. Get there anyway. Gone towards Cow. We'll come back for two more. But we've seen the power I can produce. We've done it in test matches. We've yep. done it in one-day games. And even in this over, we've hit a big six to show we can do it in T20s. It's three for 95 off 12. A couple of dots to start off this over. Would love to hit him either over mid-wicket or over the offside. Oh, yeah, that's six. Into the chapel stand. It's a big one. 100 comes up for the Aussies. 113 metres. And then they've left that gap even more open, which means I only really need to miss hit it to get it for four. Ooh. I mean, that's not the shot to play, but, you know, we thought about it. Yep. Cut away. Looking for the second. Oh, they should get it because of the misfield. They will get it because of the misfield. There was even hesitation and I got back. So it's about a run a ball needed now. 31 from 30. Inglis has done a, a really nice job. Help us get along there. No run. Uh, three dots in a row for Jason Holder. Start the over. That's four. That one I should have really pulled away. I've just lost a bit of uh, mindfulness connection with the game. Last few deliveries. That's another good one. These are just good variations. That's actually given as a wide. 
The rest of the over, very good. And just putting the pressure back on us. We'll find a way to get a boundary, that'd be absolutely huge. That's in the gap, that should be at least two. Maybe three, no, just two. So I'll get the last ball the over as well. Otherwise it has been quite a good over so far from the West Indian. Probably another wide, is it? It's not, it's three for 125. Inglis gets a single, we're back on strike to Obed McCoy. It's mistimed and out. I'd had a few bad overs there in a row. I ended up being 26 from 22, which not an ideal world to be in. So four for 126, Tim David will come to the middle. We need 27 from 22. I think Australia are gonna go on and win this game. And Tim David finds the boundary immediately to just take all the pressure back off the Australians. And within a couple of balls, they get it done. Josh Inglis is your best player on the game as Australia win this shield again. Another cup secured. They win this T20 series in a three-zip sweep. Now, the only one that went down to the wire was a one-day series, which was 2-1 uh, to the Australians. But English is 44 not out. Gets him player of the game. Up against the Windies. Uh, Peran, 45 from 35. Dim David, 27 from 8. That's unbelievable stuff. Australia winning by six wickets, as we said. Getting it done time and time again. So with that, the Windies tour of Australia is complete. It means we will now play South Africa in the same format. We'll play test, uh, three tests, followed by three one-day internationals, followed by three T20s, uh, which means that we will probably not be playing in the Big Bash at all. I don't even think we've been offered a Big Bash contract in our career thus far. And then we've got Shield Games before the Pakistan Super League kicks off and we get through a number of those games as well. So it's been a bit of a journey to get to this point. Uh, Lancashire want us to play county cricket. I don't know if I want to. I'm actually going to decline this offer because the county season is a very long season. So I don't want to do that. And I think if I'm going to be playing games for Australia, I don't want to burn myself out with too many other things going on outside of the national side. So uh, we're going to leave it there for today. Thanks for watching our T20 debut. Uh, real ordinary sort of start to our career. But, you know, at the end of the day, not, not the worst, not the best. ODI is averaging 16. T20 is averaging 13 with about test matches 36, uh, which is actually almost our best across all of these formats. Uh, as for the bowling figures, best figures in ODI, two for none. Four wickets in a test match. Didn't get a five for just yet. Uh, and hopefully we will begin to, you know, increase those numbers as time goes on. But we're pretty good, I think, for the start of our career. So that's it, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. We will continue the test uh, series. We'll be taking on South Africa. Goodbye.